Hello, new Apple Times here, welcome to a new video. And as you know, yesterday Apple released iOS 12, watchOS 5 and tvOS 12. And one of the new features, and it's one of the most exciting for me, is Siri shortcuts. It wasn't available in the beta testing, so it was the first time that most of the public, uh, aside from developers, were able to test it. And yeah, today I have it here, so I'm going to show you a little bit what can you do with it. And yeah, I'm going to show you some automations that I have already done, so... Let's go! Okay, so Siri Shortcuts is a result of Apple buying workflow a couple years ago and it was an app that was available on the App Store that basically let you do that. It combined several actions and execute many actions with just one tap. However, the new Siri Shortcuts is now able to work with your HomePod, with your HomeKit accessories and also you can uh, trigger the automations using Siri. So now I'm going to show you a little bit how the app is and show you some shortcuts that I have already created. Okay so to get Siri shortcuts you have to go to the App Store and search for shortcuts and you will find it here. However if you already had workflow in your device uh, it will come as an update. However whether or not you have the shortcuts app installed if you go to settings and scroll down to Siri and search you will see some suggested shortcuts here that are from uh, the, your iPhone automatically suggests them depending on the use you make of the device. After that, if you go to the shortcuts app, here you will see the library and the gallery. The library is the shortcuts that you've created on, or downloaded them and the gallery are sort of shortcuts created both by people and by Apple and yeah, you can add them to your library. So, to create a shortcut, we just uh, tap... Whoa, that was an iOS 12 bug. So, to create a shortcut... Actually, it created it. So, to create a shortcut, we just tap Add Shortcut, and we, this will appear. So, here you can you have all your actions that you can choose. As you see, there are from many apps, like Documents, Health, Maps, Music, a ton of apps. And, yeah, there are some some individual actions. For example, in send message, you can send an iMessage. However, if you do not find the app you want, you can tap search and here you have many, many other apps. So, for example, if I go to home, here you see all the scenes that I have created. Also, if you go to Siri suggestions, here you will see all the suggestions that we saw earlier in the settings app and you can add them to your shortcuts, so that's pretty handy. Finally, under scripting, you can have like some more technical things such as get name, get type, that's more if you want to go more like in programming, but yeah, here you have a ton of uh, instances such as set volume, set brightness, set play mode, so yeah, many things. So now that I showed you how this works, we're going to go into some that I have already created. These ones I downloaded from the gallery and I have created this one that's for when I go to sleep in the night so yeah I have uh, to turn to turn on a scene from HomeKit that will turn this socket off and another on and then play music with my radio station and then set a timer for 31 minutes that will pause the music and yeah then get calendar that this one actually doesn't make I wanted to have like the events for the next day but I'm gonna delete it and then set do not disturb so yeah until until the morning so now if we go here you will see Siri phrase here is where you can in, uh, record a Siri phrase that will trigger the automation so if we go out and say a dormir You can see it's running it. It created a timer and and it started playing my radio station. And it also turned. Actually, it didn't. It didn't turn on. Do you not know, disturb? Wow, shortcuts really doesn't work quite well. Then I also have one for good morning, that is show the weather in my current location to see what weather there is. Run another scene and. Turn off do not disturb and open Instagram because it's pretty much the same thing I do every morning. So yeah, if we try it, buenos dias. 
you can see it goes to the weather and yeah it didn't open Instagram <laughs> so yeah as you can see oh it actually didn't finish running so yeah it kind of hung there uh, as you see it doesn't really work quite well but yeah so yes this is some shortcuts I have created this is how you trigger them how you include them to Siri also some apps have to be updating and yeah they will include shortcuts integration for example Evernote or Trello have updated yesterday and include shortcuts integration also if you like this wallpaper you can download it in the 941 news website link will be down below overall it's a great app I was really excited for, for it to come it was one of the main features that I was waiting for in iOS 12 together with group notifications however it kind of let me down because there are several actions that I miss that I could do for example you cannot set alarms on the clock app nor can you set timers or yeah the only thing is like if you set a timer before you will get that shortcuts recommendation and yeah then you can set the timer but you cannot set it from inside the app uh, set a specific time and all that also another thing I miss is controlling uh, individual HomeKit accessories because right now what you can do is trigger a scenes so you have to go to the home app create the scene and then go to the workflow and edit that and trigger that scene but it would be much easier from the workflow app to turn for example the light on at 30 percent or something like that another thing I miss is being able to connect to the speakers because if they're in the home app if they're Apple 2 speakers why wouldn't I be able to connect with them for example I could play my playlist all night in my speaker and I don't have to select it by myself it will automatically be done however it might work with the HomePod but I don't have one and yeah I know that the HomePod works with Siri shortcuts but I don't know if you're able to set a song to play on HomePod automatically also I still don't have an Apple Watch that can run watchOS 5 and I'm not sure if Siri shortcuts works with the watch but I think it doesn't however the good news here is that most of these things can be fixed later via software updates so yeah I'm pretty sure Apple will continue improving Siri shortcuts and Siri in general so yeah that's pretty much obvious that they will fix them later also as the different apps update and get uh, support for Siri shortcuts you will be able to do more specific tasks of every app so yeah this was everything I wanted to show you today if you have any questions please leave them down below and I will do my best to answer also if you have the answer to some of the things I don't know leave them down below so the rest of the viewers can view it as well and have a clearer picture also don't forget to thumbs up if you like the video and subscribe for more Apple related content coming every week finally don't forget to follow me on Instagram to stay up to date with everything I post and be able to vote on the content I post and also don't forget to follow me on Apple Music link is down below so you can see what I listen to so yeah, this was everything I wanted to show you today. Thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye.